Hey guys, CP Moddy here, back with another video. And today we're here with a pretty simple video, and that is the state of Microsoft's web browser here in 2017. And we'll keep you guys updated. Each year we'll come out with a new state of the video, and we'll see exactly how Microsoft progresses their browser over the years. So let's get straight into it. So as of 2017, we are looking at Microsoft's latest web browser, and that is Edge. We could still be looking at Internet Explorer, as that is still running on things such as Windows 7, 8.0, and Windows 8 and older versions as well. But going forward, we'll be taking a look and focusing on Edge and any new versions that do come out. So I went ahead and spent a week with Microsoft Edge on Windows 10 on this particular Dell XPS 15 to really see what it's like, what it's all about and how it still performs in the state of it here in 2017. So kicking things off with the things that I did like about this was battery saving. For me, I'm a heavy Chrome user. On average, I'd have anywhere from 20 to 30 tabs open at a given time on Google Chrome. Opening the same amount on Edge, I was seeing possibly, in some cases, up to an hour better battery life. For some reason, Microsoft just implements their browser a whole lot better, which is really nice to see. Nice battery improvements. Simplicity was also to another awesome talking point as well. There's not too much extra plugins, which can also to be considered a negative, but it's just very, very simple to use. There's nothing too flashy in the way of really anything on screen, and it just gets the job done on getting onto the internet. Page previews was also to a third thing that I really did like. As I did mention, I'm very heavy when it comes to tabs, and usually on Chrome, my tabs sort of look like this. However, in Edge, I was able to actually see a preview of the window, so I could easily flick between them and get a small little preview to really see what was on the page before before I went ahead and clicked on it, which I really did like. Then finally, my final thing that I did really like about it is it allowed me to get on the internet as it was a whole lot better than actually having nothing. Now, whilst those positives are nice, they were very few and far between. There was actually quite a lot of negatives coming out of this when actually using Microsoft's Edge program. Kicking things off, the most thing that I really didn't like and that was lack of plugins. I wasn't able to run any of the programs and plugins that I do run on Chrome and I found it an absolute pain to deal with. When Windows actually launched Edge, or the Spartan browser as we once knew it as, we got word that they were actually going to be implementing a feature that allowed Chrome developers and Firefox developers to bring over their plugins and put them straight into Edge with native support. Unfortunately, that day never came and we never got any SDKs or plugins that allowed us to just move any of the other files we wanted straight onto Edge and run them as native plugins. For this, I wasn't able to use simple features like push to my phone or push to my computer. I absolutely love Chrome where I can go ahead and take my phone straight out of my pocket, grab my laptop, push a web page from my laptop to my phone and continue reading it there. Same thing if I get home from say work or uni, I can go ahead and push whatever file I was reading on the train straight to my desktop and continue reading it there with very seamless integration, much like what Apple is doing. However, on the Edge side, one, there is no Edge on your phone and also two, there isn't this type of functionality which was one of my major downsides. Now, whilst I did go ahead and mention that tabs were a lot better in Edge where you could actually get previews, the actual tab management was frankly completely crap. Unfortunately, like other versions of browsers, there is no sort of squashing up of icons. Even though it is a little bit hard to navigate around Chrome when you have, say, 50 tabs open and you don't exactly know which YouTube tab you want to go to, at least you know what particular tabs they are. Whereas on Edge, you actually are then limited after a certain amount of tabs you open to this weird scrolling interface that I frankly did not like. And there was also to the problem of just being too pushy for my liking. Everything that I wanted to do on Edge just sort of pushed me into doing things that I didn't really do. Whether it was pop-ups that I didn't really want or links doing stuff that I didn't really want, the overall experience with Edge just left me with a feeling of being pushed into something I really didn't want. Again, even though Edge was set to my default browser, it kept asking me if I wanted to set it to my default browser despite it already being set as default. So Microsoft Browser, whilst it does do a fairly good job at getting you on the internet and basic browsing tasks, if you want to do anything that sort of is considered a pro feature like installing plugins or really doing 
anything else, you will be needing to go ahead and jump to a third party manufacturer's browser. Whilst Edge again allows you to get online and download other browsers, apart from that it really just doesn't get the job done. Other than not being cross platform and not having any support for plugins that are actually legitimately helpful, it really just feels like an underdeveloped piece of software that really everyone's just going to unpin from their start menu. After my week of using it, I would definitely say not going to be using it any further until we go ahead and do this same video next year in 2018. But alas, what is the state of it? Well, it works, it gets you online, and you can view the internet, although without any plugins. So there we have it, that is about it for Edge here in 2017. Let me know what you guys think of Edge down below, do you sort of see some potential in there, but just there isn't any at the moment, or do you just flat out use it only to go ahead and download other browsers? Do let me know what you think down below. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time for another video.